guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Anastasia I am a licensed cosmetologist lash technician and business owner yeah welcome to the party so today's video is so 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 exciting yes I know I well it depends on when I upload this this is gonna look crazy I don't know if this video is going first or well, the other video that I just filmed is going first. I don't know yet, but I know that we, we, I know that I'm wearing the same outfit in each video because I just filmed two videos. So, okay? Okay. Don't come for me. Anyways, but this video is just so, so exciting because it's basically an announcement. Like, based off, you know, from the title, um, I launched a lash brand. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. This was just the most amazing and fun thing and most hard thing and most rewarding thing I've ever done. Um, so if you guys are interested in the reveal and all of the stuff, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I have a whole bin here. Um, this is not all of it. Um, I do have more, but this is just what I have right here so that way I can show you guys what I have. So I did launch a lash um, brand. I don't want to say whole lash brand because I do plan on launching like lip glosses, um, lip scrubs, and other things in the future, like other cosmetics. But for now, I started with lash strips um, and things for lashes and things for lash extensions because I am a lash technician. Um, so I launched handmade diamond mascara wands that I made. Not really mascara wands, but like uh, lash wands that basically you use to brush your lashes, brush your, you can brush your strip lashes, you can brush your lash extensions, and you can brush your eyebrows with them. Um, so at the end of the video, I will get it so you can see what it looks like. And my camera. Anyways, so yeah. So I had launched diamond mascara wands that I handmade myself. Oh, not mascara wands, but lash ones. Um, I handmade my own chapsticks or lip balms. I would prefer the word lip balm. And then um, I have some aftercare kits for those who get lash extensions. So I hand make my own lash shampoo. Um, and then it comes like in a little kit with a diamond wand. And it also comes with like a shampoo brush that you can use to scrub your lashes and stuff. And then of course the main product, the lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and show you which styles we got. So from I launched what? Yesterday? And I already have two sales as of now. Yay, I'm so excited. Um, I'm hoping to get way more than that. Um, I know that it takes time. Um, I hope that this video is words of encouragement for you guys out there who are wanting to start your own business, whether it be decals, whether it be art, whether it be selling makeup, whether it's selling clothes, anything, whatever, whatever business you may have, this is your sign that you need to do it. Just do it. Just do it. There is a bunch of resources out there. Um, you know, groups, uh, Google, you know, all that kind of stuff to help you get through and figure out how to run your business. Like, just do it. No excuses. This is your time to shine. This is your time to excel. Like, stop being so scared. Honestly, like, I was terrified. I didn't know, like, about taxes. I didn't know about, like, what am I going to do? What if I don't sell? What if people don't buy my stuff? Um, and I eventually got over it because I'm like, if I don't do it, then I'm never going to do it. So that goes the same for you. If you want to do this, and this is something that you really, really want to do, to become your own boss, do what you want to do, then just do it. you got to take that leap of faith. And if you didn't do it now, then when are you going to do it? Something you gotta think about is if I'm not gonna do it now, when will I do it? Alrighty, so moving on to the lashes. So starting out with this one, this is the packaging. Like just look how sparkly and pretty it is. And then the back has my logo on it. So this style right here is called Sassy Doll. So very sassy, very flirty. Almost kind of like this style, but not not really. It's just in the thickness, it's kind of like this style. But I really like this one. It's very, very pretty. All of my lashes, except for two pairs, right, are for $19.99 a piece. They are luxury fox mink lashes. Um, if you take care of your lashes, they will last um, up to 25 uses or more, depending on how you care for them. So that means every time after you're done 
wearing your lashes of the night, you peel them off and make sure you gently take off the glue from the day that you were wearing them. You know what I mean? Um, or you can wait till the next day to do it. Just make sure that you're cleaning them because if you don't clean them, then they're not going to last up to 25 uses. Um, I have a lot of lashes. Like I bought a couple of little lashes because, you know, that was my main brand of lashes that I like to use. Um, and those are $30 a pair. And I make sure that I care for those things and I literally can get 40 uses out of them or more. Um, I just make sure I peel the glue off, I keep them, and then maybe after, maybe maybe once you get to like 15 uses of the same lash, I would like wash them and like shampoo them. The next style is Barbie Tings. Look at this. Barbie Tings, Barbie Tings. This is the back of the chrome packaging. So this is the style I'm wearing on my eyes today. This is, to date, for right now, my most popular um, lash style. I've already sold two of these. And on my like Shopify website, I can see um, that this is the most put in the cart style. So I'm already aware that more than likely I will sell out of this style first out of all the styles. And that's okay, I just ordered more of these. But they are very nice. It's like a cat eye kind of style. Perfect for like wing liner. Even if you don't wear wing line liner, it's perfect to give you the like smoky, sultry look. Love this one. The next one is I'm Shook. If you know me, you would know that I love to say I'm Shook. I say it all the time, like I am so Shook. <laughs> I love saying that, so it's in the sparkly component. And then this is what it looks like. Very nice, very wispy, very dramatic, very I wanna make a statement. Very pretty. I love all these lashes. I'm more of a dramatic girl myself than I am like a you know, non-dramatic person, so I would lean more towards the big stuff more than I will my natural stuff and I'll show you those natural ones in just a second. The next one is Hey Queen in one of the chrome compartments. Very dramatic, very fluffy, very thick, very luxurious feeling. Can definitely make a statement in these. Um, whew. These are I believe these are 22 mm size, like length lashes. Very long, very pretty. I absolutely love those as well. And now we're gonna lean more towards into the um, natural lashes that I have. So we have Sweetie in the sparkly component. And then when you open it, very natural, wispy lashes. Perfect for a girl who likes to wear lashes but doesn't want to be like too, too much. Perfect for her. This is the style, the style Sweetie. And then for last but not least, we have the style Chloe. So Chloe is in one of the chrome compartments. When you open her up, she looks just like Barbie Tings but light. Like the light version. So it's a very natural-ish. Still very wispy, you can kind of see it on the edges, like very fluffy still. But just not as dramatic and crazy as Barbie Tings. Um, I will show you a comparison of the two together, so that way you can both like see the both of them. So then you have Chloe, and you have Barbie Tings. So they're very like similar in style, it's just that this one's way lighter than this one. This one's obviously way more dramatic than this one. but. Nevertheless, still good. So yeah. Oh, I didn't actually say which ones were the $20.99. So Hey Queen and the style I'm Shook are the $20.99 ones because those um, do cost a little bit more to make uh, and they are heavier and longer. So they're like 22 to 23 mm's. So Hey Queen and I'm Shook are both $20.99 here. All the rest of them are $19.99. Now, if you buy two or more pairs of lashes, I do throw in a free gift, and it's something that I handmade myself. Um, it's a really good gift. So if you buy more than one, then you get a gift. Um, also, Mother's Day is approaching, so I wouldn't suggest getting her lashes right now because it, I don't think with the shipping you'll, it'll get there in time. 
Um, but you can buy a gift card on my website. There is the um, option to purchase a gift card and they can use that towards lashes or whatever they want to that's on my website already. Um, I believe, mm, actually I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want to say something I'm not fully sure of because of course the gift cards going to me and you're gonna use that to or gift card you give it to your significant other your mom or whoever and then they use it to redeem something from my store um, I also have the option to use gift cards or gift certificates for lash extensions so like if you come to get a service or like your brows done or something like that you can always buy your mom or something a gift card for a service and that'll work too um, so yeah Right now, those are the only things that are on my shop, so it's lashes. I do hope to come out with lash glue, too. That would be fun. Um, so, yeah, this video was a lot quicker than I expected it to be, but I'm really excited. My goal is to hopefully sell out of all of my stuff within two weeks, I hope. That's what I'm aiming for. I was hoping that I would sell out um, by my birthday. Um, you never know. That would be a great gift. My birthday is May 7th. Um, I worked really hard on these. Um, I'm the kind of girl who loves to live lavishly and live luxuriously. So, like, imagine having luxurious, pretty, sparkly lashes. Why? Because a doll like you deserves it. My slogan, my motto in life, because a doll like you deserves it. That's what I always think. Like, when I go shopping and I'm like, oh my god, do I want to splurge? And I'm like, I deserve it exactly what you should be thinking like oh I should splurge why because I deserve it because I'm perfect that's what you are perfect and you deserve it so yeah I would appreciate you if you guys shared this with your friends um, I can go over a little bit more of like the kind of process it took for me to create this um, I feel like that would be good to add to this video for those who are wanting to start a business so I'm in a bunch of Facebook groups for uh, female bosses um, female business women or business yeah business women or whatever um, for tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm also in a bunch of groups for ideas and stuff. I didn't really get an idea for those. Like, that's just something I've always wanted to do. Um, and because I love sparkles and I love... I'm, obviously, I get called that I look like a doll all the time. So I decided that's what made me come up with the name Doll Like Beauty for my brand. Um, and really, that's the kind of style that I'm going for is, like, doll-like. I want you to feel doll-like, whether it's dramatic doll or soft, natural princess doll. Regardless, whatever feels comfortable for, comfortable for you is what I want you to feel. Uh, so yeah, a lot of things went down to researching and how much everything was going to cost me and for shipping and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It was a lot to think about and it was a lot to figure out and a lot to just, it was just, it was a pretty long process and that's why I'm saying that if you want to do this and start, you need to start now. There is no better time than now. All this time that we could be researching into businesses, researching into like licenses and all that kind of stuff. Because obviously, Doll Like Beauty is an LLC, so it is a, a legal registered business. Um, so that's kind of stuff that you need to look into for your state, for your country. I don't know where you may be watching this. Um, taxes, um, licenses, um, certificates, all that kind of stuff is things you need to look into. And it's honestly not that hard. Literally, Google is what taught me most of the stuff outside of groups. So, like, utilizing Facebook groups. Um, be careful with, uh, like, those kind of weird schemes that people are like, oh, I can help you with this. All you got to do is pay $7 and you can have all this. And then you buy the $7, um, you know, whatever it is that they were offering and it's not helping you as much as you thought it would like um, I paid like seven dollars for this one um, uh, it wasn't like a it was supposed to be like a PDF it was supposed to be something to help me gain more sales and leads in my new shop and I paid seven dollars because it was on sale and literally in it, it was just trying to get you to buy more things. So all like literally as soon as I paid for it, it unlocked all this stuff and it was like just pay a hundred and fifty dollars more and you get this and you get that and you get this and it was just all over the place and do not fall for those kinds of traps because honestly you can figure it out you can do it yourself remember what I said Facebook groups are also very helpful oh, like literally last night I think it was I searched business in groups and all these businesses pop like business groups popped up and you can ask nothing but questions you can market you can get help you can have people help you with social media like literally the internet is your friend when it comes to creating a business. Say it again. The internet is your friend 
when it comes to running a business and starting a business. There is nothing but resources out there to help you figure it out. Um, am I saying that I gotta figure it out? No, I don't, absolutely not. I'm kind of learning as I go, but, so like right now my next thing that I need to work on and figure out is uh, my social media presence and how I can get more engagement on like my Instagram. My Instagram is at dolllikebeauty underscore um, and trying to get more engagement with my posts more you know basically a lot of things I paid for snapchat ads I paid for um, Instagram and Facebook ads um, I did not pay for Google ads because I don't know Google ad Google is one tough thing and you can easily get sucked into a money trap if you do not do it the right way Facebook and Instagram I feel like there's like I don't want to say it's foolproof, but it's not as hard to get sucked in and lose all your money because you didn't market the right way, like Google. Does that make sense? So it was kind of, so right now, I've only done it for what, a day? It's been running for a day. Um, and if you guys are interested in business type videos and like learning how to run a business with me on YouTube, I can do a series like that and I can give you updates on um, whether Snapchat ads worked, was it worth investing in? Um, was this ad service worth investing in? Did this group help? This group help? If you guys are interested in something like that, let me know and I will definitely make this into a series and I can do updates and like vlog style videos if you want um, showing like what I've learned. So Snapchat ad had this like little deal where since you just, since I just started and I've never done it before, um, you basically pay $50 and you get $75 worth of ad credit. Um, like I said, I just started it yesterday so the um, ads don't stop until I think I set May 8th is the day I set. So in those days I set, I set my goal is $50. Now keep in mind when I first like you know started tinkering with it, the price it was set to for your ads per day that you would spend was $50 a day. I was like, that was a lot of money. So honestly, I think I set my, my budget for $7 per day just starting because I don't know what it's like. I don't know if it's going to flop. I don't know if it's going to do good. So I was like, I want to start small just in case, just in case um, it flops. Like, you don't know. So if you guys are interested in that kind of thing, just let me know and I will definitely make or continue to make videos on that. I can turn it into a series, like a little let's start a business together one-on-one -on -one kind of thing or 101 kind of thing so yeah just let me know in the comments down below send me a message if you don't want to comment um anything like that so yeah i hope you guys have a good rest of your mornings afternoon night whenever i upload this bye